All right, pellet choice. The rule of thumb is buy the best that you can in the shop. There's three or four really good brands and the, all the others are just also around. So to find out what they are, ask around. When we developed the 303 pellet, we developed it as a round nose pellet rather than a solid 30 caliber slug, which you think would be more obvious. And the reason for that is we wanted it to lose energy. So generally with a 303, it's in the ground at 250 yards and that makes it an awful lot safer than the, a mile and a half that something like a 308 will go. When you look at the 177 pellet and compare it with a 30 caliber pellet you've just seen, it's absolutely tiny. But for 12 foot pounds, the UK maximum without a license, it's a fantastic caliber. They work very well and essentially at 12 foot pounds, you usually have an effective range 10 yards further than the 2.2. It's not to say that 2.2 isn't effective, it has more stopping power, but it also has a more lob trajectory. So you need to bear that in mind if you're going to stick with 12 foot pound. Of course, if you're going to have a firearm rated rifle, then a 2.2 is generally better than the 177. So if you're buying an air rifle and thinking about converting it to firearm at a later date, then it's much cheaper to buy a 2.2 because you haven't got to pay for the recalibering of the rifle. There are different weights of pellet. And for hunting, usually the heavier pellet is better because it retains the energy better. There's a heavyweight 2.2 for you. The problem is that the heavier the pellet, the more the lob the trajectory again. So you can end up, for instance, with a 177 heavy pellet with virtually the same trajectory as a 2.2. There's lots of choice and it's your choice, but generally the advice is buy the best you can afford, the best they've got in the shop, and you can cut the amount of testing you have to do down considerably.